Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about something that I find a little strange. Why exactly are we making fun of this certain kid, this child, who, sure, his voice is about 20 years from puberty if you ask me, but this child just so happens to bring up some valid points. I am, course, uh, I am of course talking about uh, I, something classic Sonic fan. I, I don't remember the name. All I remember really is the screaming. But I think that's just the reason why. We don't remember what he says. We remember the screams. The screaming that he does throughout the entire of his videos. Now, to make an effective argument, despite how passionate you are about your subject that you're talking about, the real thing that you should do, you should keep this in mind, is don't yell. Try to, if you want, you can be passionate, but you can be passionate in other ways. Avoid going high-pitched, it just makes you sound like a, a mouse, and the more you sound high-pitched, the less someone wants to take you seriously. Now, I'm not saying auto-tune your voice to the point of, you sound like you're speaking in the basement, you know. It, it, that's not it at all. Um... What I am saying is, speak in a calm, collective tone, breathe, and really try and engage with your audience, throw in your opinions and valid points and such, and ask for theirs, if they have any input on the subjects. Of course, that's just me. No, but honestly, back to the real thing. The fact that this kid brings up some valid things. Sonic 06. I do believe in one of his videos, he brings up the point of, why would we want another Sonic 06? Nobody asked for Sonic 06 to happen, did they? Why did we want this to happen? I mean... Personally, I'm not good at editing, so I can't show some footage, but you could just look it up, and it's um, an, a, a train wreck. It's, like, not even past beta testing. It's like they just took the game and said, hey, you finished with that game, man? And the guy working on it is like, dude, I just have a crude sketch of this. Tails, just on a piece of paper. What do you want me to do? Well, the game ships out tomorrow, and so they just throw a piece of paper in there and say, "Hey, look, it's a Sonic game." You know, it's it's just it's a really bad game. Now, this might be acceptable if we were back in the times of the beginning of Sonic, but the thing is, the beginning. Games of Sonic were actually better than Sonic 06, from what I can tell. The functionality of the game was, you know, simple, but at least you weren't glitching through everything that was around you. Because that's ridiculous. And the animation actually looked better. And I know what you're saying. 64-bit and 32-bit and 16-bit. They look ugly. Well, I've always been a fan of the classic game sort of bit style. It's a nice, homey feeling look. Which is why I like games so much, specifically games like Undertale and stuff. They're really beautiful, and when you work with a nice system like that, you can do amazing things. 
despite the fact that you're only working with tiny little pixels. It's, a, it's amazing what just a few pixels can do. It's crazy awesome. But then there's... The, well, honestly, another thing of the Sonic franchise, uh, Sonic Boom. Um, I don't think I need to state that it is trash. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that it is trash. But it's trash. I even watched the cartoon for it, seeing maybe it would give me some insight on it. <laughs> Knuckles actually used to be slightly intelligent, at the least. Now he has approximately the IQ as um, a brick. And why would anyone say... Hey, this is a great idea for a game. Look, there's some things that you just gotta say no to. Not all ideas are amazing. Some are horrible. Some are dumb. Some are okay. Go with the good ideas and avoid the okay ones. The okay ones can be improved upon, of course, and expanded further. But I would never recommend to anyone who's doing any sort of programming or story writing at all to focus mainly on the character design or mainly on this, that, or the other. Everything should revolve around both the story and the art style. While the mechanics should, uh, if it's a game, the mechanics should be fluid-like, nice, and easy to work with, but it shouldn't take away from the story or the characters or their personalities. And if you're doing voice acting, please try. And if you can't, go home and reevaluate your life because if you can't talk like a normal person and become the emotions of your characters, maybe that sort of job is not your something you're suited for. Overall, I must say that the this Sammy Classic Sonic fan, whatever his name is, brings up very good points. The only problem comes with his volume and tone. To him, if he ever watches this video, I would recommend that First off, multiple takes. You always need multiple takes. Second off, if you're really gonna just wing it, no script, um, you should probably pause every once in a while to get yourself collected and avoid yelling. And third, try going from a better angle than this. Yes, I know I have this angle, but personally, I don't prefer it. That's why I've been readjusting the camera pretty much this entire video. But with all that said, um, I am Blue Jay, signing out. And don't forget to uh, share your comments and critique in the comment section below. And etc. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.